Today, we're going to be doing a review on the Echo SRM 266 weed eater. Um, I got it from Home Depot. It cost $2.99 and it cost about $3.27 after tax. Something like that. Uh, as you can see, it's been used. I got it Sunday and today is Saturday, so I've had it for almost a week. It comes equipped with the Echo Speed Feed 400 head. Um, I have the black diamond line on it. I re it, but it also comes with uh, it when you buy it. It has the coolest air filter here and it has the pro the foam pre-filter and then the other air filter under it It has the uh, normal safety switch on and off. It's it's really not as annoying as you would think. My, I got used to my steel. It has the toggle switch, meaning, if you don't know, you turn it off and it automatically goes back to on. This one has the normal switch where you got to flip it off, and then when you go to start it up, you got to flip it back up. Um, one thing I like about this trimmer over my steel which will be a video in the future it has the rubber grips here which my steel has but this one also has the rubber grip on the loop handle which is nice my steel doesn't have that but uh, one thing i wish that they would fix on this and i'm sure echo already knows about this but they're filler cap is way down here so when you go to fill it up you gotta lift it up or prop it up on something so you can fill it up without spilling fuel and uh, I wish that this came up just turned up a little bit more or was higher up even but uh, it has a pretty big fuel tank it has uh, a lot longer run time than my steel which I do like, it makes me more efficient when it comes to having to stop and refuel. I can probably get double the run time out of this unit on a tank of gas as I can my steel. But like I said, that is another video. Um, one thing I'm not sure, and I've never seen it before really. If you know what it is, let me know. But it's like a little, this little filter cartridge thing right there that comes up out top of the tank. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but I don't know what that is. And so if you know what that is, can you put it down in the comments and let me know? Um, I believe it does. I'm not, don't quote me on this, but I believe it does have the I-30 easy start system. It does pull pretty easy. It has your uh, primer ball up here on the back. And it has your standard Echo choke lever. Down here is run. Then here is cold start. The thing actually sounds pretty cool, so I'm going to go ahead and start it up. Probably about three times. And then, you just, um, you just pour it. That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> I'm going to put my foot on it. When it does that, switch it to run.
sounds pretty cool. Sounds like a mini dirt bike, if you ask me. Um, one thing I don't like about it is I don't. This thing here gets really hot, and uh, I touched it a couple times and about burned myself. I just wish that they could make it more insulated or something so it wouldn't get as hot. So that thing does get really hot. Um, it's a great unit. It, it runs really smooth. It has plenty of power. I'd like to try the 266T just to see if there's really that big of a difference between them. Because it is a pretty torquey trimmer, honestly. Um, I like it so far. But, uh, yeah, it's a good unit. I'd recommend it. But like I said, if they could fix that, the fuel tank, make it come up to where it'd be easier to fuel. And it's not a big deal, but, uh, I could put a toggle switch or something there to where you just push it off and it automatically comes back up to run. That'd be nice, but, uh, if not, it's no big deal. But this here is just a pain in the butt. Like it really sucks to have to try to refuel this thing especially with a bigger gas can it just really isn't fun refueling but yeah it uh runs good it's actually heavier than my steel on statistics wise but it feels a lot lighter it's a lot better balanced um it has a longer shaft which is good I am get. I have ordered Darwin grips, so that's a video coming up. Shout out to uh, Andy at Cut and Clean Lawn Care and Blake at B&B Lawn Care. They're the ones that I I was watching the video and I saw the Darwin grips. So, which if you're watching my videos, you're probably already watching them too. But if not, go ahead and subscribe to Andy at Cut and Clean and. Blake at B and B, they're they're pretty cool guys. Um, Blake, he, he's a younger dude. He's he's re he's really cool to watch, and uh, so is Andy. He's cool to watch. Um, they make really good videos, but uh, this video's getting kind of long. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.